Electronic Gaming Monthly number 54, the infamous Mortal Kombat 2 edition. This magazine was my favorite as a kid. And we're finally going to take a look at it, guys. Welcome back to the channel once again. We got the EGM exclusive up top, NBA Jam coverage for SNES and for Sega Genesis. First info on Sony's PSX and NEC's FX 32-bit game system. This is the January 1994 Volume 7 Issue 1 Edition. This is an incredible, incredible throwback to when I was growing up. Let's jump into it and see what we got here. Now, as a live streamer, I can tell you right now that Zombies Ate My Neighbors. This is like the most requested, one of the most requested games that I have ever gotten. I laughed, I cried, I screamed bloody murder. 55 levels, so that, I didn't even know that. 55 levels. I had no idea. Live on the edge. Yo, we got some Batman the Animated some something going on here. All right. January 1994. Violence in video games part two. Well, now I gotta get, oh my gosh. Now I gotta get uh issue 53 number 53 so i can get violence video games part one jam 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 march 94 on snes genesis and game gear i love it i love it yo look at the handy gear down here what is that weird thing we got the sg program pad i think i remember those i think they were terrible Mortal Kombat, man. You throw the MK logo on anything and it's awesome. And we got... Let's see here. We got... What is this? Is this the... the why is it black and white? I don't know. Who knows? Now, we do down here. We do once what just wasn't enough. Here's a quick look at Mortal Kombat 2. It's back. It's bloodier. And EGM has all the facts, strategies, special moves, and details to be sure of the sure-to-be hit arcade game of the Christmas season. We have devoted eight pages to bring you cutting-edge excitement of the sequel Mortal Kombat 2. If you're one of the millions who loved conquering your opponents in the original, then this arcade game is for you. Hype! Let's go! Let's get the quarters and go to the food court. Get some pizza. Hit the arcade. God, those were the days. This game again, Yoshi's Cookie. We saw that in the uh, last uh, magazine review I did, and I have no idea what that is. Yo, what is this game? It's like in tiny. It's Brett Hull, ho Brett Hill Hockey? Yo, Brett, I don't remember your game, but I'm sure it was a lot of fun. Somebody's probably going to correct me in the comment section. I think I read that wrong. But onwards and upwards, we got the SNES Times, we got Outpost Sega, we got Planet 3DO. Y'all remember the 3DO? <laughs> Nintendo Force, All Out Amiga, Club Game Boy, Super Gear. Wow, this is such a throwback. Yo, that's a cool looking uh, piece of artwork right here. Look at this, Ant. Look at this. Funtronics from Sears. The hottest title, state of the art technology game sampling can you handle it yo we got the royal rumble on sega genesis here mortal kombat up here game gear sega cd terminator 2 mortal kombat on game boy what is that i can't see what that one is that's 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 a packed lineup of games right there sega's rating system uh oh, what is this? Oh, guess who's starring in their own Sega Genesis game? Connect Fleas for the answers. Hint Nickelodeon. It's Ren and Stimpy. That's freaking cool. That's really cool. Huh. Yo, we gotta make sure this is centered, guys. Come on, don't don't do that autofocus. I want to invest in a new camera for you guys. I just don't know what webcam to get for you guys for these reviews. If anybody knows in the comment section below, let me know okay so we got a little inner the sega's new game rating system needs explaining and more categories we got ga ma13 ma17 stimpy's invention i don't remember that on sega genesis that's cool wait no it's on genesis yo look at this what is this 
Build an insanely overpriced sports car, drive it as fast as possible, and laugh in the face with Thor. You just don't cry when you're sharing a cell with a big fat guy who picks his nose. European Racers. That is, that is a... Oh, it's for Sega CD. Okay. And I ended up CD-ROM. Yo, we got them talking about price wars. Something about price wars. Street Fighter 2 for 26 bucks across uh, over in Japan. This is an ad for it says down here. No need to worry. Cool games like Pyramid Patrol will come to the U.S. Oh, this is for the Laser Active, the Psycho Letter of the Month. I think there should be a game called Barney Must Die. You would have every weapon you could possibly think of, and the game would be one big maze with Barney at the end to make more fun. Throw in a little fucking kill them too. This game must contain much so much gore. No, it's, these are the Barney haters. Wow, this guy's losing his mind on this article. <laughs> okay. This thing sucked. It sucked bad. It, they oh, play with an unfair advantage. That D-pad was unfair. Goodness gracious. Yo, it was so bad that they had to advertise it twice. Here's a whole page ad for Mortal Kombat 2 playing with this thing. I remember seeing this ad and wanting this controller. And let me tell you something. If you're playing Mortal Kombat on the Sega Genesis with the three button controller, have fun. Hit and select to change between punches and kicks. I don't bad photo photocopy contest. What is goodness gracious. The Atari Jaguar, yo. Wolfchild. This was a cool game back in the day. Absolutely fantastic journey. Oh, the lawnmower man. I don't know if that game was good or bad. I know the screenshots made it look cool. The future of the NES still looks bleak despite some owner strong interest. Yo, that's a cool looking arcade stick for the Sega Genesis. What is this? The factory tour was a real blowout. Quotes, uh, what is he taking a tour of? That's like a bedpan. Anyway. Yo, you can subscribe to EGM and receive 12 incredible issues and the Q letter. I remember that Eternal Champions one. Lunar. Now, this is a big Sega CD um, game. Like, that's a hardcore. In this game, it's either y them or you, Soldiers of Fortune. Toast. I don't remember if that game was good or not. EGM envelope art. Very cool. Instant party. Oh, it's Super Bomberman. Okay. That, that's another game that a lot of people ask for. Like, a lot. Yo. <laughs> this game sucks so bad on Sega CD. Like, it's like a Mario is missing kind of thing. Where you, like, are like, yo, I want to get Jurassic Park on Sega CD. And then you play it and you're like, oh, it's an educational game. Where's the one thing? It hints at it. Paleontologist Dr. Robert T. Backer knows his dinosaurs, and if you pay attention, you will too, because it's a learning game. And I like the traditional Sega CD. Uh, that's a cool design, but I like the original Model 1. I thought that was just awesome. I like the giant style. Game of the month back then. I believe this was January 1994. Let's be sure. Yes. January 1994. The game of the month. Stop autofocusing. Oh, 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 don't do that. But uh, Mega Man, Mega Man X. That's fantastic. Art of Fighting. Yo. Arcade Smash Hit coming to Super Nintendo. Very cool. Who's the toughest something ever? Greatest heavyweights. I don't know who the toughest ever was. I don't know if that game was good or not. This is one of my favorite games as a kid growing up. I used to play this Mega Man X to just non-stop now we got jurassic park on the super nintendo rated uh i'd have given it a six aladdin on the super nintendo rated very high cliffhanger on super nintendo not didn't do too well now we got obitus i don't know what obitus is uh we got chester cheetah didn't do too well t2 the arcade game got sevens and sixes alfred chicken dennis the menace sixes and fives this ad, though, was one of my favorites. This couldn't wait till the 21st century. The X-Generation of Mega Man Adventures is here for the first time on the Super NES. 
Great screenshots, man. They used to get you hyped for these. Look at this. Look at this. Now Genesis players can kick some real. Fill in the fighting word of your choice. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition only on Genesis. One of the highest rated Sega games of all time. Yo, let's go. We have Super Goal 2 over here. This is Dune. Uh, Eternal Champions getting rated 8, 7, and 5, and 5. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. It's a great game. You got to really know what you're doing, though. Otherwise, you're going to be in it for a hell of a time. Yo, we got Chester Cheetah 2 up here. We got Time Killers and Dracula. Now, Dracula on Sega CD, that rated very low. I mean, like, not as low as Time Killers on Sega Genesis. I need to play that now. That tanked. Wow. But Dracula, I heard, was actually pretty interesting on the Sega CD. F-117 Nightstorm. That's a cool-looking, cool-sounding, cool-looking box art. So the game probably sucks. Yo, Putt Putt joins the parade on the 3DO. <laughs> All right, then. Ren and Stimpy on the NES gets the 7, 6, 6, and 7. Neo Geo Fatal Fury Special 9, 9, and 8. That is a very, very, very good game. Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. Never played it. Heard wonderful, wonderful things. Make sure this bad boy is centered for you guys. We got a full spread ad here for Eternal Champions. Very cool to see. Yo. To prepare for Eternal Champions, use Street Fighter 2 as your training wheels. Get them. Sunset Riders on the Super Nintendo. I've never played that version. All you need to be a rootin' tootin' cowboy. Pork and beans. James Pond 2 on the Amiga CD. Bart and the Beanstalk on Game Boy. Sonic Chaos on the Game Gear rated very highly. Uh, Sonic Chaos over here. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. I got to get the light just a tiny bit different. Sonic Chaos got rated really well. Let's see. DuckTales on the Game Boy over here. Got a 7, 6, 5, 5, and 6. That's that top one. We got a full page spread for Sega CD. Welcome to the next level. Double switch. I've heard of that. As much excitement as you can get from a wall socket without that funny burning smell. Wow. Uh, what do we have here? Dalsum got one of the spots on the top 10 video game Blabbermouth. So did Yoda. Editor's top 10. We got Mega Man X. Putt Putt joins the parade. <clears throat> Excuse me. My gosh. Samurai Showdown. Dracula X. Ninja Warriors. Great game. Gunstar Heroes. Great game. Tournament Fighters on Super Nintendo. Fatal Fury Special, Sonic CD uh, as number nine in Arrow the Acrobat. I never played that. Reader's Top 10. I don't know how well you can see that, but right there. Reader's Top 10. Let me pull this over. Mortal Kombat on Super Nintendo. I'm very surprised. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition on uh, Champion Edition Turbo on Super Nintendo. Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis is number three. Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo and Streets of Rage on two on Sega Genesis are the top five on the reader's top 10. Super Empire Strikes Back on Super Nintendo six. Street Fighter two Champion Edition on Sega, on Sega Genesis is seven. This is packed. This The top reader's top 10 of January 1994 has one, two, three, four, five. Between Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, it's got half the uh, top 10 for that month Jurassic Park on Sega Genesis such a great game and uh, Tournament Fighters on Super Nintendo Biometal I don't remember that at all Wage Deadly Tactics The Killer Techno Tracks that sounds cool I check that out yo now you got the uh, top 10 area here Sega CD Lethal Enforcers is number one uh, Nintendo Tetris 2 is number one. Tecmo Super Bowl on Super Nintendo is number one. Sega Genesis Madden 94. Wow, there you go, guys. Madden NFL 94. Number one on Sega Genesis, January 1994. Game Gear, the number one game, Mortal Kombat. Which was a very good version. We got a full page spread for the Panasonic 3DO. Just slightly ahead of its time. Yeah. Just slightly. What is this game? 
Sea of Cortez. Gulp. It's real. Oh, it's not even... I don't know what this is. Guess they didn't want to show us a game there. Now, this is Pro Move Soccer. I have heard of that. Sega goes to court over violence. Super Street Fighter bows out. Atari gets aggressive with Jaguar. EA and Viacom set sights on WMS. Sega reaffirms CD commitment. Sports titles planned for 94. New MJ game killed at Sega. EGM goes UK and gets square. Interesting. Winter Olympic Games. Those were always fun as a kid growing up, I always thought. I enjoyed those. What do we have here? 3DO gun in development. I believe that the 3DO gun actually has been used in some kind of a mod. I may be... I saw something where uh, a gun has been modified to work on... An old retro gun has been modified to work on new uh, panel TVs. And it's one of these retro ones like the 3DO or something obscure. And the SG pad for Sega... I would have liked that for Mortal Kombat because you got the uh, top, you got two trigger buttons up top and then your your four button layout. We got the same kind of gimmick up there for the Super Nintendo. I still have this. I do not have the box anymore. Oh, this is the Sega CD version. Forgive me. I have the Sega Genesis. I have the blue uh, Justifier, the Justifier words worn off. Lethal Enforcer is an amazing game. Uh, you better make sure that you're... Uh, TV is I'm trying to like I have I've, I've played this many times on TVs that certain at guys on the corners maybe it's just the TV going bad I don't know but some guys on the corners are really hard to shoot because it doesn't register Dragon Ball Z arcade action spotlight we got side pocket the most realistic billiards game on the market yo let's go Nostradamus I don't even know what that is Monday Night Football. So real it hurts. I've never played that. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, man. Any Disney game, you know it's hard. We've got Dyna Gears. That's an interesting game. Perfect Soldier. Soldiers. I haven't... I think I remember that. Ground Effects looks cool. It's a drag racing game. Joe and Mac. Mad Shark. Human Cup 93 Grand Striker. No idea if I played that. Mad Shark looks like a cool shooter. I'd have to go back and play some of these. D&D Tower of Doom. Never played it. I really want to. There's another Double Dragon game I want to... Uh, Double Dragon. What's wrong with me? Dungeons and Dragons game I want to play. We got a Captain America and the Avengers. I didn't know they had the uh, hit arcade game on now on Super Nintendo. I'll have to check that out. Super Putty. Full page spread. Wow. What is this? Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Dragon of Destiny. Took 1,400 years, but we finally got them together. All right, then. We got the Super Famicom release of Alkahest. And how I save the world from the alligator people. Look at these ads. It's just crazy. He saved the world, obviously, with these arcade sticks and super controllers. Look at them arcade sticks. Those are fantastic. Oh, it's the Aussie wear. I might have said that wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if I did. Fantasy Star End of a Millennium on the Mega Drive. Just absolutely amazing game from what I've heard. I've never been a Fantasy Star guy, but that's just me. I was always doing something else. Or The official Formula One game. I don't remember that. Awesome Possum. Tried to play it. Couldn't figure it out. Yo. They got people from the from the Street Fighter movie. I believe that's what it is. Or is that a parade? It looks like people just... Entered, okay, Capcom entered a great float in the parade in their hometown of Osaka, Japan. It was designed to look like a fort. Top four, Ryu Chun-Li and other Street Fighter 2 regulars as well as the new Super Street Fighter 2 characters. Cool. Right, very cool. Vampire Killer Dracula X. I've heard good things about that. Wait, is that the... Oh, bro, that's the amazing. That's an amazing game. That's 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 Castlevania Dracula X, right? Yeah, that's what's wrong with me. I played that recently. That's very hard. Rocket Coaster on Mega LD. Can y'all see that? It says Mega LD. I think it's Mega CD. I think that's a misprint. 
Tetris Battle Gaiden on the Super Famicom. Race driving. What a steaming pile of crap that game was on the home versions. Maybe the Genesis version was better. I remember the Super Nintendo version sucking balls. Astro Boy. Yo, the Great Battle Gaiden 2. Lost Vikings. Boy. Let's just go to the next page. The Lost Vikings is a game that, my goodness gracious, I don't know what in the world. Like, I, I've I've had a bad. I don't know. I could never figure out what to do. Clay Fighter in the final combat. Only the real heroes were left standing in the street. Clay Fighter. It, that was that was okay for what it was. The No Problem Cats on the Super Famicom, Super Robot War. I remember that. When it's cool as it sounded. We got Dungeon Master 2, Super Famicom, uh, Metal Fangs. That looks really cool. All these games back then, Metal Fang, <laughs> Dungeon Master, Formula One World Cup. I did play that. That's actually Mega CD. I didn't wait. Yo, Sega CD's got some hits. Sengoku? Sengoku was on the Sega CD? Wow, I didn't know that. Step into the ring, Riddick Bow Boxing on the Super Nintendo official, also available on Game Boy, Game Boy, not Goy, and on Game Gear. What is this? Building on a strong foundation, Seika. Uh, Super Empire Strikes Back. That is such a hard game. Street Fighter Two. This is it right here. The Sega Genesis version. That's what I had. Special Champion Edition. That game was awesome. I loved it. Robo Less, that's an amazing Sega CD game. Robo Less is absolutely awesome. Silpede, I've played that once or twice. Looks beautiful. Super hard game. Run Saber, that looks cool. Super Nintendo, I'm gonna have to try that. What is this one? We got Legend Medieval. Okay. Now, Tecmo Super Bowl, Tecmo NBA, te yo, do we even need to say anything else? Incredible, incredible Tecmo Sports, incredible, incredible games. Yo, we got the cheat sheet. This is the Game Genie. Uh, we have codes for the Game Gear. Yo, Mortal Kombat by Arena, the Game Gear Game Genie codes. Each round is 69 seconds. All right, that's the number, that's the first one. Okay. All right. I, I see you midway. Each round is 69 seconds. All right. Win the ultimate gaming rig. Over $18,000. I remember this giveaway, man. Look at this TV. Look at these speakers. The Sega CD. The, the arcade sticks. The Super Nintendo. The Super Scope. Man, that thing. Went, we got a Neo Geo. Wow. We got to find out who won these contests. That's insane. We got Lethal Enforcers on the Sega CD, Super Widget, uh, codes over here, Rolling Thunder 3, Rock and Roll Racing, Super Conflict. What is this, Socket? I don't remember Socket. On the Sega Genesis? He's faster than a Roadrunner. Rocky Roden, Super Conflict, Super Empire Strikes Back. Well, that's just a super hard game. We got the Game Gear ad by Tengen. Formula One, Chuck Rock 2, Desert Strike, PGA Tour Golf. Dragon's Lair, guys. That was awesome. That was a fun game. Once you knew how to play it. The first Samurai. Uh, we got Mortal Kombat on the cheat sheet for the Super Nintendo Silver Goro trick. When you come to the Endurance in 3 in Mortal Kombat, make sure you are using Raiden. When it is time to finish your opponent, use Raiden's finishing move. After you defeat Endurance 3, a messed up Goro will jump onto screen and he will look metallic. He will stay that way only for round one. He will be the normal color for the second round. Well, there you go. Mortal Kombat Super Nintendo program moves. There's a way to kind of program moves for the characters. When you're fighting the first round, just before you defeat your opponent, perform the special move you would like to use for the whole next round. Use a special move that uses one button. It's the last button you press to make it to, to, to make the trick. For example, if you are Liu Kang and your opponent has a little bit of energy left, so you decide to throw a fireball at him to defeat him. Now in round two, wait for the word fight to be completely off the screen and then press high punch. 
Liu Kang will then throw a fireball with no effort. This programming trick works for some characters. If you do any other move, you will relieve the program mode. Interesting. That was a terrible read, but what it's saying is, is if you're Liu Kang, and I guess if you, at the end of the one round, you hit him with a fireball, after the word fight disappears from round two, you can just hit high punch and he'll throw another fireball. Intriguing. What is this? The Rebel CD? I, what, what, what is this? It's European racers again. Rock and roll racing up here. There's a, there's a cheat sheet for Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. Road Avenger? I don't remember you. Yo, Championship Pool? Okay. Okay, here we go, guys. The most wanted trick. Mortal Kombat 2 comes into play as the game of choice of the most wanted trick. We should call this section the most wanted combat trick. In any case, this hot new fighting game is already in many arcades and it's taken off like a streamlined jet. You ain't wrong. How do you do each character's fatalities? Well, for crying out loud. Oh, they're just... Okay, Ranger X. Interesting game. So it's just telling us that they're going to put out a fatality list. Interesting, man. F1 pole position on the Game Boy and on Super Nintendo full page spread. Nice. Gaia Fantasy on Super Nintendo. I have heard of it. Never played it. This is totally like a 90s ad. Yo, we got Rocky Rodent. That is one of the hardest games I've ever played. Night Trap on the 3DO. Yeah, they're at the Super Star Wars. This is a great game. A lot of people love this. It's very hard. PGA on the 3DO. That's actually what an incredible golf game I've heard. Uh, Brutal on the Sega CD. I've played that incredibly hard fighting game. Rocco's Modern Life on Super Nintendo. Again, we got another one in case you forgot a minute ago, guys. We still got Super Empire to strike back. Super Empire. What did I just? I just butchered. Super star wars the empire strikes back i still butchered that name goodness gracious what are you playing at huh that doesn't even make sense does it micro machines fantastic dizzy dino basher cosmic spacehead what are you playing at i don't even know what that means adam Stanley values uh didn't hear very good things about it could be wrong just feeling like that wasn't the best eek the cat i don't remember that at all I just have heard of it, and I don't. It seems like it's very mad memories. Mighty Max, I did not know he had a video game on Super Nintendo. Definitely need to check it out. What do we have over here? We have Electro Brain. The only true 3D game, special glasses included. Yo, what is this? Lost Dimension. What? Yo, I have to find this game. It's on Game Boy Super Nintendo? What? Oh, here we go. Game Boy tip-off. This looks thrilling, yo. Imagine paying 69 or 59 or 49 or whatever the heck dollars for this right here. We got sidekicks? I don't remember that. Yo, we got a full-page spread for Sunsoft here. Looking good. Coming in with the, with the tunes. The Looney Bin. Okay, this holiday season, visit your friends in the loony bin. Okie dokie then. What is this? Another 3DO ad for Super Wing Commander. Escape from Monster Manor, Popeye on the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. The best of the best championship karate. Another Electro Brain game. Asterix, the what? I don't remember that game at all. Super Pinball, Riddick Bow Boxing on the Game Boy. That actually doesn't look too horrible. Jam It on the Sega Genesis. I don't remember that basketball game at all. That's weird. Did I skip a page? Nope. We got Skitchin. We got James Pond 2 on the Sega Genesis. Both of those on Genesis. Incredible Hulk on Genesis by US Gold. I did not have a good recollection of a lot of games with US Gold, but maybe I'm thinking of it wrong. Citadel on Super Nintendo looking pretty cool. Kind of got a Star Fox thing going on. I need to check that out. Sonic CD on Sega CD. <laughs> scared. Alfred scared. Yeah, like this is his brain, dude. 
Oh, here we go. This is the uh, Sonic CD level select. Wait, wait, wait. Stage select trick. At the title screen, press up, down, down, left, right, then the B button. You can then choose your stages. Well, thank you. Yo, special feature NBA Jam, AGM exclusive preview. Okay. Super NES, Genesis, Game Gear. What, no Game Boy love? Oh, here we go. Look at this. The full page spread. He's on fire. Okay. Hey, I'm going to go back. Oh, look at that. Look at that traditional bad boy right there. Then you got the, the Model 2 Sega Genesis. Win your own NBA Jam Arcade game. Wow. I wonder who won that. Contest entry form. Ooh. Sega Genesis is, uh, or Sega Game Gear is Jurassic Park. I've always wanted to try to beat that. Echo the Dolphin on the Sega Game Gear. Dear, dear everybody help you. Uh, the Handy Gear from STD. Great name. <laughs> Turbo Twins? I don't know what that is for the Game Gear. Interesting. Yo, so these are all the Sega CD. I wanted a Sega CD so bad when I was a kid. Like, and there was just nothing good on it, really, that I knew of. We got Prize Fighter Boxing, Stellar Fire, NFL's Greatest Teams. That looks like it could be fun. Joe Montana's NFL Football. That was... I'd have loved that. I didn't know that was on Sega. Wait. Are some of these... I'm gonna have to go look what I have. That was one of my favorite games. That's why I got so excited uh, on Sega Genesis. I didn't know it was on the Sega CD. But uh, Sonic Spinball. I know somebody that didn't know Death Run of that recently. Actually, if you scroll down a few videos on this channel, you will actually see my no death my no death run that was accidental. Uh, legit. We got the Sega Activator. Only eighty nine ninety nine. Not bad. Okay. The Turbo Touch, what a pile of steam and crap that thing was. A lot of good stuff on here. TV Golf, that was a fun thing back in the day. It, I mean, like, it was just an interesting gimmick. So, EA Sports Baseball, great, great looking game there. NBA Showdown 94, very fun game. Mario and Dreddy Racing, I remember that. Very bland looking uh, game, though. A lot of, a lot of, purplish blue i see nhl 94 hockey i want to have say i have good memories of that one comes with game cards john madden football on the 3do look at these look at look, 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 you got you got good looking stuff here look at this the blurry old ref shot looking good 3do had some fire back in the day FIFA International Soccer, that looks pretty good. You can kick a bitch, all right. I see what you got going on. Yo, look at this, psych, yo, th these guys had good ads. Like they had a cool looking like little logo. What is this, Psychnosis CDs? You don't have to say it, just play it. A brain is a terrible thing to waste. Microcosm, the dude's laser in space, and get him. You may be brave enough, but are you smart enough? Shadow of the Beast 2, and the little thing sticking down faster than the speed of bullet? Not, it's Pugsy. But yeah, these guys, I just remember thinking all their games and their ads used to be so cool as a kid growing up. Virtual Racing. I just remember that. Oh, wait, Virtual Racing. That's the good one. That's the good one. We already covered the other one. Sega Sports. We got Pebble Beach Golf Links. I remember not having too much fun with that one. World Series Baseball, I believe that was a good one. Look at these screenshots. Looking good. NBA Jax, NBA Action 94. I don't, hosted by Marv Albert. Don't remember that one. The only way to play the game, NFL Quarterback Club. I remember that, that was a fun one. Prince of Persia, if you play that, may all the strength be with you. That's a tough one. Bubba and Sticks, no experience with it. Soul Star, Battle Cores, Paladin's Quest. Literally, Paladin's Quest. Okay. Oh, this is an RPG that's one RPG that's out of this world. You know, it's a good game. Out of this world. Look it up. Play the Sega CD version. Very fun. Yes, you can take it everywhere. Almost, we don't suggest scuba diving. The handy. Oh, it's supposed to make your game gear like durable, yo by std i had this controller growing up is this the super nintendo one yeah this is beautiful this 
this thing sucked it was just a pile of sucked like it's like you could program your pad and you could do stuff like program down forward or down down back and down forward like why like a fireball motion you could program it to do that but the problem is is if you jump on the other side of your opponent then that move doesn't work anymore yeah it only but it was cool i don't remember it lasting very long i feel like that broke very quickly yo what well, look at this oh by std again power up with the sn program pad he's roasting him like scorpion torching him good for him behind the scenes of ubisoft france all right then look at this we got the f1 pole position on the game boy yo don madden's football i remember that secrets of mana enough said john madden football on the game boy yo let's go actually that looks pretty good kids nowadays don't know about that madden on the game boy secret man on super nintendo such an incredible game sonic the hedgehog chaos on sega game gear i do not remember that i would like to go back and revisit that one day we got matrix prime for super nintendo and sega genesis no clue what that is fire team rogue what is this i have no idea yo bubsy 2 that's a game that i never ever ever really learned speed racer for the sega genesis i feel like if that was a i feel like i would have played that more if that was a winner but i could be wrong let me know in the comment section below super chase hq fun game supernova i don't know what that is but it looks cool yo here we go seven new characters 12 in all mortal kombat 2 more mortal kombat it's back and better than ever the one game that took street fighter from its unchallenged reign of fighting games this time around there's more of what made it great and a few new surprises play seven new characters on brand new multi-scrolling backgrounds the sounds have also been pumped up with the dcs digital sound compression it doesn't stop there there's more blood more moves more fatalities and five times the secrets as before oh, let's play it or end the video right now and play Mortal Kombat. I played it yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Never gets old. AI is absolutely awful. The blood is back in how. If you thought the censors had a cow before, wait till they check out the gory moves and super violent fatalities. I dig. Let's go. This is so cool. This was like my childhood. Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers versus Mortal Kombat 2. Yo, we got the uh look at the look at the look at these looks at these stages yo beautiful absolutely beautiful oh it's a comparison oh look we got the old ladder right here hold on stop stop being like that let me let me hi, hi, go, go. trying to block the, the glare there you go stop stop there we go well i was trying to block the glare that didn't really work at all but uh we got a little bit there you go all right anyway but you got your battle plan over here. This is the original MK1 battle plan. Then over here, you got your Mortal Kombat 2 battle plan. I got to admit, I like the Mortal Kombat 1 battle plan more than I like the Mortal Kombat 2 battle plan because you have names over here. You got endurance rounds. The boss characters are offset at the top. So you can tell there's like three segments to this. This is just like, here you go. Climb the mountain, buddy. You got your classic pit right here. And now there's in the classic uh, bosses. Fatalities have gotten a lot worse and more gory. There's even multiple fatalities for each character. Because in Mortal Kombat 1, you only had one fatality. Mortal Kombat 2, everything was insane. Like, it's just... They brought it all back. Fatality. Oh, they showing it. Oh, black, back, 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 back. I thought it was back, back. Mm, was it four back, back, back? I thought it was four backs and then high punch. I could be wrong. This is wrong too. Back, 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 forward, forward, low punch. That's wrong. That's not. Th it's back, back, forward, down, or it's down, forward, back, back, low punch, isn't it? To do that. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting caught up. Tap, high punch, fast, up, up. That's up, up, and high punch. Wait. Some of these seem like they are incorrect. 
Yo, I remember seeing this. I remember seeing where this is the this is the first time we get to see the kiss. Like outside of the arcade. Katana's kiss where they get just large and explode. And I was like, uh okay. We get the first look at reptiles eating the head fatality. Classic. I want to point out how you can see this. This is the updated scorpion fatality with the with the flame where they explode. Jax's head smash fatality. Oh wow, they got full character breakdowns. Reptile, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Johnny Cage, Shang Tsung, Sub Zero. Oh, this is fantastic. Katana, Jax, Baraka, Scorpion, Raiden, Melina. Katana and Melina making their debut in the series along with Jax. A reptile becoming a playable character. Same thing with Shang Tsung, Reptile and Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat 1. First time you could play as them in Mortal Kombat 2. Then we got a impromptu full page spread for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. That is fantastic. Go ahead, pick a fight. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. It oh, it's on NES too. What a thriller that must have been. Mega Man X. Wow, we jump right into another amazing game. Is this a strategy guide for Mega Man X that I need? I may have followed this as a kid. Oh, stop. Look at this. Yo, we might have to go back and play Mega Man X soon. Look at this whole thing. This is a boss strat. The good Mega Man finally goes to 16-bit and it has been a well worth the wait. The bad. I suppose the only bad aspect of this game is the diminished replay value. Say what? The ugly. I mean, there's a there's a few things you can find in this. The ugly uh, Mega Man looks like he is really hurt when he takes a hit. Oh yeah, he does. Young Merlin. Um, I remember this game, and uh, I gotta I gotta be honest, I did not think it was that bad, and I don't like games like that. I don't remember how I ended up playing this game. I just remember liking that. T2 the arcade game on Super Nintendo. That seems like... Oh, wait. Could you play this with the Super Scope? Yo, you let me know in the comment section below. Can I play this with the Super Scope? If so, I will set up and do a video of me playing that. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Dennis the Menace. I've heard good things about this game. I've never had a chance to play it myself. Alfred Chicken. They've mentioned this game a few times in this video. I have no idea. I've never played Alfred Chicken. I probably have. Is this? No, that's not. No. Maybe. No, I don't know if I played that or not. The Untouchables. I think that's a good game. What is this? A game based on the touching story of visitors from another planet receiving a traditional small town Texas welcome. What's the game? Howdy. Ground Zero, Texas. All right, then. That's a Sega CD game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For Sega CD. I don't know if you can see that down there, but yeah. Sengoku coming to the Super Nintendo. The Ultimate Brain Game. Gearworks on Game Boy. Well, we should do a video on that. Pogito Ergo Sum. E equal. <laughs> I want to play that. If you guys see any games in here you'd like to see me review, let me know. We got Super Goal too. Last Action Hero. Oh. I don't think that was a good one. Castlevania Bloodlines on Sega uh, Genesis. Wow. That's, that's cool. The good, a nice variation on the Castlevania theme. The blood is a nice addition to the bad. The animations of the characters need a bit of work. The bloody, the ugly is the bloody demise of some of the bosses. Like the first one is half skeleton, half dog. And then over here, we got a cool Dracula plate, if you dare. These video game ads back then were fantastic. And we got a breakdown for the Castlevania Bloodlines game too. Boldly going where no magazine has gone before. Hero Illustrated. Oh, Young Merlin ad. I don't remember how I came across that game. I gotta figure that out. Dune, the battle for Arrakis. I, I, Sega Genesis. I played the Sega CD version of Dune, and I couldn't figure out where the heck I was supposed to go. Good game. Chat seemed to love it, and I was just going or flying nonstop. I think they were just laughing at me being lost. 
Super NES Buyer's Guide, Street Fighter 2 Turbos on the front. I'd like to get that. I'm going to look that up. What is this for? Ranma and half? Ranma half, hard battle. Ranma. It's Ranma. Better get that right. Sylvester and Tweety and KG Capers. Uh, is that the game where you just got to get away from? Yo, if that's the game I think it is, that's a really basic game, and it's a lot of fun. I might be thinking about the... Uh, yeah, it is. Scaring, pushing, running, scratching, sneaking. This was a really, really, really hidden gem for me. I had a lot of fun with that. I highly recommend checking that out. Zool. I always wanted to play that because uh, Ghostbusters, but I never got a chance to. I don't know how good it was. Subterranea. Heard good things. Never played it. Wiz and Liz. Uh, I don't know if there's anything good. On, I've never heard anything about that. This is a continuation of oh, oh, Subterranea. We got chips and bits over here. Yo, Family Feud on the Sega Genesis by Game Tech. A critical flaw with these games, excuse me, is you had to do like the most precise like thing. You can't see this right here. Like name something your house has three of. Torture chambers is what they said. Say what their game tech? What? Difficulty moderate. These games are super hard because you have to be so specific with like the answers. Like it's 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 out of it's amazing. Over here we got cliffhanger, yo. I think this is actually a decent game. Uh, uh. My man, one day you don't know it yet. You're going to be in Mortal Kombat. Let's go. Goofy's Hysterical History Tour. Mario's Way Cool Time Machine. You know what was way, way cool when I live streamed that on a request show one time? And I literally couldn't figure out what to do. Mario's Way Cool Time Machine was not way cool that day at all. I did not have a good time with it. Toe Jam and Earl panic on Funkotron. <clears throat> Let me tell you something I've learned as a live streamer. People love Toe Jam and Earl. I've never figured it out, but people freaking love Toe Jam and Earl. Like, that is a beloved game. Ground Zero Texas. This is a Sega game. Sega CD, I mean. And uh it's 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 not good. Mega Play, the number one Sega video game magazine. And we got Total Carnage over here. Uh, that was a funnish game. Basic. Okay, here we go. Double switch on the Sega CD. Now we're getting into the whole interactive movie. You can see by the game screens. You got to protect Brutus. You got to protect Elizabeth. You got to free Eddie. Hi, my name's Eddie. <laughs> Oh, here we go. WWF Rage in the Cage. Incredible CD wrestling action has finally hit the Sega CD. Let's go. We got Bam Bam Bigelow, Big Boss Man, Brett the Hitman, Heart Crush, Head Shrieker, Fat 2, Head Shrieker, Samu, Irwin R. Shyster, Kamala, Lex Luger, Mr. Perfect, Nasty Boy Knobs, Nasty Boy Sags, Macho Man, Randy Savage. We got Razor Ramon that for some reason... They couldn't be bothered to put the name Razor Ramon on here, but that's Razor Ramon. We got the model Rick Martel, Shawn Michaels, Tatanka, Ted DiBiase. We got The Undertaker. We got Yoko Zuna. Ooh, okay. And let me see. We got a card set right here. Okay. And let's see what we got over here. We got Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Tomo Incorporated. We got some ads. Revenge of the Ninja. What is this on Sega CD again? Yo, look at the look at this color scheme. Are you seeing this? This is like the most wild color scheme I've ever seen in a video game. It's like all red. You can't even see the damn game. I of the Beholder. I don't remember that being any good, but I could be wrong. Sega CD game. Mad Dog Decree. Mad Dog McCree on Sega CD, PC, CD-ROM, and 3DO. I don't remember that being good or bad, but I remember hearing a lot about it and wanting to play it. 
If you know anything about that, let me know in the comment section below. We got Mega Joe coming to the Sega CD, Prize Fighter. Wait, Honey Boy? What? Nuke the Duke? T Rex? Oh, these are the fighters. Okay. For Prize Fighter. The Arcadian, get serious. The true six button compatibility with Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. That was a big. There was a big market for that back then. Like, because there wasn't, like. What? Well, look at this. Look at this ad right here. Can't be bothered to make it a circle. Actually, it's really odd from your angle, the way that this is capturing it. Like, this is not a perfect circle. But from the angle you guys are seeing it, it's putting it in a good circle. Stop focusing. Royal Rumble, right there. That's cool to see. Eternal Champions, Silpede. My gosh. Stellar Draxon's Revenge. Stellar 7 Draxon's Revenge on the 3DO. Yo, let's go. That looks kind of cool. You can't really tell what it is. It's the same three screens, and then this one's the same screen, just a little bit darker. And this is Pac-Man on the go, huh? What is this on the Game Boy? Yo, look at this Game Boy color change. What is this? What? what? That's interesting. Wait. Yeah, on the Game Boy. All right. Another 3DO ad for Battle Chess. Um, I've heard, I've played that battle chess before. It's got people love that game. We got Lester the Unlikely. Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're gonna die, Lester. Because that game is hard as hell. You're gonna die over and over and over again. Rescue Rangers 2 on the NES. I that was a fun game. A lot of love for Rescue Rangers 2. Yo, we got the game mage. Now that you're tired of losing, cheat with game mage for the Super Nintendo. What is that? Who remembers the game mage, yo? Cliffhanger on the NES. Interesting, interesting. James Pond 2. Codename Robocop for the Amiga 32. Goodness gracious. What do we got here? We got a full page spread for the Game Gear X-Men. I don't know how that was. But look at that one day. The Simpsons Bart and the Beanstalk on Game Boy. Yo, let's go. Look at this smooth looking game right here imagine paying 50 bucks for that bad boy what's up docs fix the game cleaning kit hey got some controllers and now here we go guys we got to kick some liquid metal butt look at this terminator ad for the game gear the genesis and the super nintendo the 3do gracing the cover of electronic games Oh, wait, they had electronic games? It wasn't electronic gaming? Wait. Is that a... All right, I'm having a meltdown. Is that a, is that a separate magazine? Or is that just the early... Mag I don't even know. Special report on censorship, freedom versus responsibility. That's right when all the stuff was happening with violence and video games. Very cool Terminator ad, though. The Jungle Book on Sega Game Gear. I don't remember that being any good at all. I don't remember very many Game Gear classics that I was, like, impressed with. Music for your eyes. What is this? Rocket Comics. This is interesting. Help Wanted Experience Designers, Programmers, Artists, Malibu Interactive is looking for help, guys. Back in 94, they were. Wow. So this is a comic. Okay, Rocket Comics, the first and only fully authorized series of, of comic magazines dedicated to the world of rock and roll, attracting bands from all genres of the industry. Rock, pop, metal, alternative, rap, and country. Rocket Comics will become the most exciting entertainment medium since music videos. Each issue is created with the direct participation from the musical acts as the artist or band help create their own comic book image. They got a Metallica comic book? The launch begins with Metallica and world domination. Then get ready for more... With Lita Ford, Pantera, Megadeth, The Far Side, Ozzy, Osbourne, Black Sabbath, Santana, and yes, many more. Yo, I gotta look that up. We got X Men on the Game Gear. What kind of what kind of setup is that? I gotta check out that game one day. All right, let's go to Pinball Dreams on the Game Gear. That was probably fun. The Ren and Stimpy Show on Super Nintendo. Will they save us, Ren? I hope so, Stimpy. Your breath is killing me. That's my Ren and Stimpy impression. 
Forgive me. Back in the day, we had ads. Yo, wow. Will the Cowboys take two? Warner Brothers and Fifth Network. More cartoons for everybody. Wonder if Warner Brothers back then, I guarantee you, they probably never thought they'd own Mortal Kombat. I don't know what watched your high scores. Okay. A faster than a speeding bullet? Not. It's Pugsy. I've never played that. I don't think. I don't know. Youngblood animated series in the works for late 94. For spam lovers everywhere, there is a I'm a spam fan cookbook. Well, I'll be. Oh, okay. So, this is a thing. Would you believe this is the world's heaviest kid? Like, I guess that's like a, th like, that's interesting. I, I feel like, I get like, I don't know why I'm remembering this, but maybe it's from this magazine. Look at this controller, the quick shot. You got buttons everywhere on this thing. Well, look at this bad boy. Oh, they got the Sega Genesis version with three buttons. Man, imagine getting an arcade stick with three buttons and then they come out with all these six button games like a month later. Okay, so they got they got comic reviews over here? Oh, that's their Hero Illustrated, I see. Dr. Franken? Oh, this game was hardcore. Parts is parts. That game was real hard. Yo, let's go. Double Dragon will roar in 94. The Double Dragon movie. No, oh, and here we go. Right here. Sega six button controllers. If this were a perfect world, you'd be all thumbs. That way you'd have more moves. You'd have more control, but have more intense com and you'd have more intense combinations, but things aren't perfect. So if you want all that stuff, you should either buy one of our new arcade style six button controllers or start handling large amounts of nuclear waste and well hope for the best. Personally, we'd go for the controllers. They're more reasonably priced and a heck of a lot easier to come by than a chunk of plutonium. All right, then. I always wanted that Sega arcade stick. That is so sweet looking. EGM Marketplace over here. Send us your old cartridges. I don't think I ever did that, but interesting to see. And I don't know what the next magazine is I'm going to review, but I will find out and I will post a picture over here for you guys. We got the real Panasonic 3DO. That looks dope. Japan video games. One stop in American and Japanese game store. PC Engine, Super Famicom 3DO, Mega Drive, Jaguar. I didn't know anybody with a soup with a Sega CD, a 3DO, a Jaguar growing up. Happy New Year 1994 from Game Shock. Alright, man, we got. Street Fighter 2 Strategy Guide 1995. We got the Panasonic 3DO over here. I don't see any prices on this. Heads up, the crash test crash dummies are now on Super NES, and that game I don't think Oh, that wasn't bad. It was just really That game was hard. Yo, and we end it off with Arrow the Acrobat with a full page spread. I didn't ever understand this. They get to this and then like like they like he's swooping the words off the screen so you just can't like read what they wrote. I guess it's not meant to be read. And then we finish it off on the back with they've got a bullet on your name with a, with your name on it. This is for the untouchables on Super Nintendo. Guys, this is a piece of gaming history right here. Electronic Gaming Monthly number 54. The January 1994 issue, Volume 7, Issue 1. This was a part of my childhood growing up. And, and the cover is just absolutely legendary. And, I mean, you got Baraka. You got Shang Tsung, Katana, Kung Lao. Pay attention to the Mortal Kombat logo in the background. That is still a very rare shot. I think that's one of the only images I've seen of Mortal Kombat 2. Could be wrong, but with the MK logo backwards as it originally was before they flipped it to be the other direction. But thank you for checking out this video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on it. I'm going to find out what magazine we're going to be taking a look at next. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys saw any games in here you want me to cover. If you saw anything you want me to take a second look at. If you have a retro game magazine that you would like to see me do a review on, let me know in the comment section below. 
as always guys i have a blast looking at these i hope you enjoyed i will see you on the next video thank you so much once again guys as always take care stay safe i love each and every one of you head locked out for now but i will see you guys on the next video take care everybody head locked out peace